Of course, we always begin with a vocabulary section. Our first word is attract. Attract means for one object to cause another object to move towards it. Okay, attract, and that is you know we're talking about magnetism here, attraction. But attraction can also be between different people. If somebody, if you see somebody and they're very、uh, wow, you really like them, or you like their personality, you are attracted to that person. You want to move closer to that person. Don't get too close, but <laughs> okay. But you want to get closer to that person and be with that person, hang around with that person. Well, magnets do the same thing. Of course, they can't think. Their attraction is just natural. Okay. Next, we have repel. Repel is the opposite of attract. So, if attract means the two objects are moving closer to each other, repel means that they move away from each other. And repel is for one object to cause another object to move away from it. And attraction and repel are both types of forces, right? Attraction will will、uh, will pull another thing towards it with a certain force. And repel, there is also some force. That is acting on the two objects to separate them, to make them move away from each other. Opposite. Opposite means to be completely different, right? If I'm going north and you're going south, we are going in opposite directions. Okay, so opposite is to be completely、uh, uh, different from each other, to be completely different direction, completely different personality. A lot of different types of opposites. Magnetic. Okay, so now we get into some words more specific about the idea of this lesson. Magnetic means acting like a magnet or affected by a magnet. Magnetic is kind of like a quality, right? If you say、um, this metal is magnetic, it means that it acts like a magnet. It has that that. Those forces of attraction or repulsion, so magnetic. Non-magnetic means it doesn't act like a magnet. It's not affected by magnetic forces. It doesn't attract other things to it. It doesn't push them away from it. It's non-magnetic. Okay. Magnetic field. Now, magnetic field is an area around a magnet where the magnet's power is felt. Now. This diagram kind of shows、um, the magnetic field around this magnet, and you can see the field. It's a very difficult, it's a very complicated diagram. Actually, if you take a look at the、um, the lines or somebody's artist's conception of what a magnetic field is, but you can kind of see it.、Uh, this magnet is attracting little pieces of iron. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you can see how the iron is arranged. If you just sprinkle the iron, it will clump together like this, and it kind of shows the outlines of the magnetic field. A magnetic field is like a field is like an invisible force around an object. You can't see it, but you can detect it using certain tools, right? And there's a magnetic field, there's an electrical field. There are different. These are diff- two very common fields. Around natural objects, you can't see they're invisible, but they do have properties, and we can measure them. And they do exert some type of energy or force around them, and that's what a magnetic field is. So, an area around a magnet where the magnet's power is felt. Now, I'd like to also point out one more thing, though. A magnetic field isn't very large. I mean, for huge objects, it is, but for a magnet. Um, you know, it doesn't take far、uh, a long distance to get out of the magnetic field to get away from the area that the magnet's power is. The power of a magnet, the area is very small, right? It's not very large. So you notice that you know if you have two magnets and you separate them, there's nothing there's nothing going on between them. But the closer you get, you have to get pretty close、uh, for the for that magnetic field to show itself or to have some type of action. Okay, so interesting. Okay, those are our, our, our vocabulary words for this lesson. Lesson thirteen: Exploring magnets. Attract. For one object to cause another object to move towards it. Repel. For one object to cause another object to move away from it. 
opposite, completely different. Magnetic, acting like a magnet, affected by a magnet. Non magnetic, not acting like a magnet, not affected by a magnet. Magnetic field. The area around a magnet where the magnet's power is felt.